Hey everyone, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime tag video. I was tagged by habit to do the ultimate waifu slash husbando tag. Now, in this case, to explain to you guys and girls, there are several questions you're asked what your preference is. So if you like girls, you say, what's your waifu? If you like guys, you like husbando. So in this case, I'm, I'm waifu because I'm a straight guy. And I'll tell you this right now. This was tough. This was a tough, it's still a kind of tough tag. Like I've had to do this thing a few times already. And, you know, it's the thing is that you have to sit down and really think, who would be your ultimate wife or husbando? You have to think, what, what will make them be your ideal one? And so I sat down. I know a lot of people thought they knew the answer to this already, because I know a lot of people were thinking Yuko from um, Just Made of Amnesia or Senja Gahara. And, you know, I, I thought, you know, but I love those girls, but who do I really love them as ultimate wife and material? <laughs> and I know, you know, maybe you shouldn't take this, this tag so seriously, but I, I, I wanted to take it as a fun thing, so I did think of the answer seriously. So my answer, and the first question, is who is your waifu slash husbando? For me, Mizuho Kazami. Second question, where are they from? They're from Please Teacher slash Oniga Teacher. Now, third question is, why do you love them so much? I love everything about Mizuho Kazami. I love her personality. I love that she's like an alien slash human. I love just that she is a girl that is a teacher. I think that's awesome. I'm, I've always had that kind of fascination with teachers because I love teachers. I think they're awesome. Um, but I loved her character. I love how she kind of gets she gets angry, but at the same time, she's still cutesy about herself. I like how she's a little d ditzy a little bit sometimes. I like how she's serious when she has to be and not serious when she doesn't have to be. That she still doesn't know everything about the human race because she's, uh, of course, an alien first and foremost. But I, I love her character. I really do. So honestly, you know, Mizu Kazami, if I really sat down and thought about it, she would be my ultimate, ultimate waifu. Now, the next question was, when is their birthday? This was a hard one for me. Like, honestly, I had to think about this. I'm like, how do you answer that? Because a lot of times with anime, their birthdays aren't revealed. Like, they'll say that they are born, you know, they'll say they're a certain age or stuff like that. But their birthdays, you have to then kind of guess. So in this case, it was kind of easy, though, when I thought about it. I'd be like, okay, I can make a funny answer to this. At the same time, it also kind of makes sense in many ways. She is an alien and a human, but she was born on an alien planet, which they never explained about that. So I'm going to say, I know her age is 23. I'm going to say she's 23 space years old, and she was born on space date of some sort. There you go. Uh, I know it's kind of like, it's probably pissing off some people. It's like, wait, that's not a real answer. Well, it kind of is a real answer because that's the only answer I can give you. Um, but anyways, next question. Do you own any merch of them? Also kind of had a loophole this question a little bit. Um, so I own a lot of merch for Please Teacher and Odega Teacher. I own uh, art books. I own, of course, the DVDs. I own the light novel and the manga for it. So I own the whole like written works and stuff like that. Um, but in terms of, you know, any actual merchandise i mean the art book is considered merchandise but it doesn't apply to mizuho i guess it does have her because she's the central main character but i was like i guess if you want to say that's merchandise in, the, in this case then yeah i have merchandise of her but in terms of merchandise for the character by itself like statues or figurines or plushies i don't own any of that for her and that's because you know this came out in 2002 around that 2001 so it's an older series and statues that are older are usually harder to come by and not without value like so they're a lot more expensive um in her case most of her statues can be anywhere from 90 dollars to like 100 to 300 dollars i've seen for her so yeah i kind of don't want to spend that much money on a statue for her i mean if they were cheaper like in the 30 dollar range i'd be okay with that but at the range of how much it is i'm like no that's too much but so i don't own merch of her specifically but i own merch of the series so i mean kind of all right, final question is, who is your second, or you, who would be your secondary husband or waifu? In my case, it'd be, of course, Senja Hakahara from Bakamata Gatari. So, um, yeah, that's it for the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I think these are fun. I always love being tagged in videos. So if you ever run across another tag and you're a YouTuber and I know you, hey, feel free to tag me. I'll always do these. Um, so here are the people I'm tagging. I am tagging the Otaku Fangirl 17. I'm tagging Professor Anime, and I'm, ta I'm tagging uh, Lita Kino. That's, you know, so if they've been tagged already before, I apologize, but hey, you know, just say that you were tagged by me and also several other people. Because uh, I know a few people always get tagged by more, more than one person, and I always feel bad when I'm tagging them, and I'm like, oh, did someone tagged you already? Oh, oops, my, my apologies. But, you know, there's no rush, guys. You can do it whenever, uh, in your case, guy and girl, or guy and girls, because I I, mean, I think I was, Professor Anime is the only guy I actually mentioned in that whole group. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will talk to you later. If you haven't checked out my manga tag, I don't know if I said this already in this take. Um, if you haven't checked out my manga tag, I'll leave a description, description box below for that tag. 
But yeah, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.